What's going on everyone? Dominic Dominator with the Veterans Den channel bringing you an update to one of the videos I previously made about the stimulus checks and all that other good stuff and filing. So I have a lot of notes. Uh, I would probably throughout this video I'll be looking down and reading my notes because normally in a video I usually wing it but kind of memorize what I was going to what I say and what I was going to say in the video. But this one has a lot of information and I don't want to mess up and leave anything out. Um, like always, I will be having my support links in the description box below. So it's not that I'm pulling information from a website and then I don't put it in the description box, but everything that I'm talking about, you can go down and click on the link and read more in depth. But what I'm doing is just giving you small, uh, bite sized digestible information, and then you can go back and read the whole meal. But like always disclaimer, um, just combat vet. Uh, not a IRS tax person or financial advisor or anything like that. So take it with a grain of salt. Uh, please do your diligence and read and inform yourself and, and ask professionals if need be. But all of the links I'm using that I'm talking about are found in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into it. On Monday, March 30th, the IRS announced new guidelines for the stimulus checks. This is including suggesting everyone files taxes to get their stimulus checks. They are referring to social security beneficiaries and service connected veterans and other people that don't file taxes, but have income. After receiving heavy criticism, the treasury secretary announced Wednesday, April 1st, that they will not be having social security beneficiaries file taxes. So basically they came under fire. People were complaining, why are you doing this to social security beneficiaries and all that other good stuff. So they came out and announced we will not uh, be having them file taxes. But when asked um, about the vets, they kind of were just went silent. So basically what they did for Social Security beneficiaries they need to do for veterans that are service connected and are not paying taxes. Uh, now, it's not hard for them to do because under the CARE Act, there is wording in there that allows the IRS to obtain information from the VA so disabled veterans don't need to file taxes. So basically what they're saying is they need this information to make sure you're eligible and all that other good stuff. So the, for whatever reason, they say you have to file taxes so we can get this information. But because of the CARE Act, um, the CARES Act, they're able to get that information if need be from the VA so they can give you, you know, your check. Um, some of the wording that I got from the, the IRS page, which is in the link below, uh, and this is coming straight from their government page. Um, some of the concerning info I pulled from the IRS webpage on what you need to know is an, is the title of the uh, page. It states this question. I am not typically required to file taxes, um, or a tax return. I still, will I still receive my payment? So in short, the answer is yes, and it states you will have to fill out a form SSA 1099 or RRB 1099. Now, the concerning part was this at the end of the paragraph. Let me pull that up on my laptop. And this is at the end of it, and like I said, the link is in the box below. Since IRS will not have information regarding any dependents of the people, each person would receive $1,200 per person, without any additional amount for dependents. So basically they're saying, well, we don't have your information, but we'll give you the 1200. But if you have like two kids, we're not going to give you that extra 500, um, with that check. So definitely, um, I would start hitting up the treasury department and I do have the contact information below, uh, for the secretary of the VA and the secretary of the treasury department. Um, so you can voice your opinion and, and let them know and, and all that. Now, some light at the at end. Of, I don't know the light at the end of the tunnel or some light in the middle of the tunnel, but some light on this is uh, senators and VSO sent a message to the VA and the IRS Treasury Secretary and the VA Secretary requesting that all that what was done to the Social Security beneficiaries be done to the to the same uh, the disabled veterans, and you can find that in the link below. You can see the letter, you can, I even added a news article about it. Uh, many of the VSO and organizations came together to sign and send a letter to the both treasure, Treasury and the VA Secretary, um, link in the box below so you can check that out. Now some updated information about everything on the checks in general from the a news article that I, that I pulled and I posted. Most people 
won't see their checks till after April 13th and could go and take up to 20 weeks. The goal will be to send the checks out mid-April. So like I said, that's goal, so it's subject to change. So don't, don't write that in stone yet. Those with direct deposits info on file, meaning when you file your taxes and get that direct deposit, they have your you know direct deposit information on, on record, will get theirs within two weeks when they actually work. Um, as far as when, when they actually send out the checks, you, you should get it when, uh, within two weeks from that date. So if it may be April 15th and maybe April, you know, 29th, but within that two weeks, you'll get it. But the goal is mid April to be sending them out and you get them two weeks later. Those receiving paper checks will be sent sometime around May 4th tentatively subject to change. They're looking into making a website so people can update their information and bank info to get their checks faster. So meaning maybe you change banks between now and the last time you filed your bank account or filed your taxes and they don't have your bank account information. So now they're talking about putting together a a website they can go to and update your information. So you get, you know, get your direct deposit uh, note starting May 4 tentatively, they will send out checks at the rate of 5 million checks a week. So if you count every single person in the U.S. Uh, and everybody's getting 5 million checks a week uh, or the population of 5 million people at a time per week, that comes out to 20 weeks to accommodate everybody and everybody gets their check. So unfortunately, if you're part of that last 5 million, you might not get your check, your paper check for up to 20 weeks once they start sending them out. So that is uh, that is update for that information. That's all I got. Sorry, I was trying to. I really wanted to put this video out this morning. Today's, um, was it? I think this today's April 4th. Let me double check. Yeah, today's Saturday, April 4th. So I really wanted to get this video out. So sorry if it's not as polished or clean, but we, you know, we went ahead and polished the turd uh, by throwing this all together. But definitely, if you have any comments or questions below, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Once again, I'm not an expert. If you personally have a link or an article or something that everybody can read and I can read, please put it in the comment box below. So we can get some more information, but that is the updated information. Definitely talk to your state representatives, your senators, the, the VA, the Treasury Department and voice your opinion on this, uh, especially as far as those uh, service connected veterans that have dependents and that have kids. And they're assuming that they're going to get their five hundred dollars. But according to the wording on the IRS website coming directly from their website, um, which is in the link box or the link in the description box below. Check it out. Um, sounds like they're not going to pay you. So definitely before they start setting all of this in stone and they start sending out the checks, please voice your opinion, contact people. If you have the email address to the VA secretary, please put it in the comment box below so we can all, you know, send our emails and voice our opinions, but reach out to your local leaders and, you know, get out there and be active. So, once again, thank you. Hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Thank you for supporting me, veterans. Thank you for supporting this channel. And I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, carry on.